Greetings to all my fellow watch enthusiasts on uh, YouTube and Facebook and wherever else this video is being seen and shared. It's Celine Driver once again. Um, got a uh, slightly different um, review for you today. Usually I review watches or talk about Florida Gators or spout off the odd political slash social commentary now and then. Um, today I wanted to talk about uh, watch winders. Um, now I use a lot of watch winders. I have many, <coughs> pardon me, and I know that's a controversial uh, topic. And I'm not going to get into the controversy of is a watch winder good for a watch or bad for a watch. Um, other than to say is I have quite a number of these watch winders. They're all from the same company and I'm going to get into that in a second. And I have literally had no failure of any of my watches um, due to a watch winder. So, and my father, who is a collector as well, and has a collection that is, um, to be kind, enviable, um, he doesn't have any problems either, and he's been using winders a hell of a lot longer than I have. So, um, I'm not going to get into winder good, winder bad. Uh, for me, winder good. So, I'm going to keep using them. Now... <clears throat> The winder that I have been using, and for the most part my father has been using uh, for many years now, is from a company called J. Queen. The letter J. Queen, you know, very simple. Um, usually buy these off of Amazon. I have two different versions here. I have the uh, six um, watch winder with the storage along the bottom for, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I have the uh, four bay winder in the background, which I'll bring up to the forefront. Uh, oh, and I apologize for the uh, glare. Um, sorry about that. I'm shooting in my, in my uh, kitchen, on my uh, kitchen table. So uh, I usually shoot from here. Uh, usually you can't tell that there's that much glare from that light overhead but anyway <clears throat> the reason I wanted to make this video is because recently um, J Queen um, did uh, a customer service uh, well actually two customer service actions for me that I felt warranted um, uh, praise because you know a watch winder is um, to be fair it's a throwaway commodity. Uh, one of these motors burns out under here um, or something happens to the mechanisms. Uh, these are inexpensive enough to toss them. Now, that's not to say that I like to toss away money, but it isn't generally worth it to fix one of these things. Uh, these, I, I, I buy these on Amazon. The six bay ones usually go for about $160.00. The four bay one over here uh, generally goes for about 130 or so. Prices vary a few bucks either way, depending on uh, the day and so on. But generally, they're inexpensive enough so that if, if one motor blew out and the other one was still good, okay, use the other one until the other motor blows out and then throw the thing away. I mean, they're nice construction. They're, they're solid wood. Um, the, the pillows, if you will, as you can see here, um, trying to do this sideways here, uh, they're leather, they're sizable, uh, they have an outer ring like this, and, uh, the inner pillow like this, so if the watches you have are uh, for size for a small wrist. You can take the outer ring off and just use the inner ring. And they look more like this. You know, these storage ones. You know, they're, they're relatively small size. So no matter how big or how small your watch is, you're going to find uh, um, a size to fit. 
Uh, they also have speed adjustments here. It's a four position adjustment um, for mode. Uh, mode one rotates the watch for two minutes clockwise only, then, then goes dormant for six minutes and then repeats. Mode two goes two minutes counterclockwise, rest for six minutes and then repeat. Mode three, which is the mode I use on all my winders, rotate two minutes clockwise, rest six minutes, rotate two minutes counterclockwise, rest six minutes, then repeat. So you get a bi-directional. And then there's mode four, rotate five minutes clockwise, rotate five minutes counterclockwise, and repeat um, all that for three hours and then rest for nine hours. So basically it's constant movement for three hours in both directions and then it shuts off for nine hours. Not really sure if that's beneficial to anything, but maybe there are people smarter than me. <clears throat> anyway, relatively simple um, devices. I mean, there's nothing overly complicated about them. Um, I just find that these are, are really nice looking pieces. I mean, they, uh, the bigger one has a little lock. They have nice positive, uh, mag uh, nice positive feel to them. Um, they're well constructed. They're soft uh, all on the inside. Nice leather linings all over the place. They even smell good. <laughs> I mean, and they look good. I mean, they can be out in, in, in the public area. I mean, they have different finishes. I prefer this darker wood. Um, and you can put these out in your living room on a mantelpiece, and they look really good uh, for displaying your watches. And as you can see, I have my Squalies on here. I have uh, my Seiko uh, Nemo Turtle. I have my, um, I have my uh, Breitling... Uh, twin 60 Navitimer. I have my collection of five hammerheads in the background here. I have my four spot with a bunch of uh, vintage uh, Seikos, uh, 6139s, and, one, and my Thailand uh, SKX, the SKX A65, which is a Thailand only release. Now, as to the customer service from J-Queen. Now, I bought all these from Amazon. I was dealing with J-Queen through Amazon uh, and then J-Queen directly. Uh, one, I, I've ordered many of them. I've only ever had two hiccups. One hiccup was on one of these fourth place pieces here, which I really should bring to the front for you so you can see it better. see that a little better. Anyway, I, um, I got one of these four-piece units, and for some reason, even though the box was sealed and the covering around, these ship in double-layered boxes wrapped in a kind of a sheet foam and, and, and really nicely packaged, but for some reason, the pillows were missing. These things. All four of them were missing. That makes the winder essentially useless. I contacted um, J Queen through the Amazon affiliate page. Nice lady named Vivian responded. And within a week, they had shipped me four new pillows, no questions asked. You know, so they made it right. A week later, everything is good. Put that out of the way. Come back to the six. <clears throat> Heavy sucker. Now, the other one I had, the other incident I had was very recently, and this was more serious. <clears throat> I ordered uh, this one. Well, not this one. This is the replacement. I ordered the one that came before it, uh, and, and I ordered through Amazon, and the, it came in th a triple layer box. It came in the Amazon box. Inside the Amazon box was J Queen's outer box. Inside J Queen's outer box is the inner box 
which I wish I had kept so I could demonstrate that to you, that in the inner box is where this is uh, held. The outer, outer box, the Amazon box was undamaged. It was fine. The middle box, let's call it that, had a hole in it about the size of my fist, about that big, right through to the inner box, the white box that this was in, and through that. So it was a hole and then another hole. Now, this part was undamaged. The winder was undamaged, not a scratch on it. But this part of the, um, of the uh, turntable, this uh, leather line part will come out. I can I can demonstrate that if you'd like. I can pull that out, pull that out. And if you give it a rotation, it comes out. See? And these things, all three of them, were lying scattered all through here. Just like that. And then the lid was all on the inside, scratched up the entire length of the um, of the plexi here it was all scratched up, was all torn up from, I guess, the shipping. See how easy that goes right back in? No problems. Anyway, and one of these turntables, I think it was this one, was not working properly. So I contacted Jay Queen again, and I, I did so I took photos, and I um, emailed them with photos, and I said, uh, this is not acceptable at any price. And it was Vivian again, contacted me, and she said, um, no problem, we will send you another one. Two days later, it showed up, UPS this time. Perfect boxes. All three boxes, perfect. This was perfect. Everything was in place. Not a scratch on it. It was beautiful. Two days later, and they said, you can keep the other winder, or you can throw it out, or you can do whatever you want. We don't want it back. It's defective. We don't need it. So I'm, I'm going to keep it as a spare, mostly for the motors. I mean, the motors... At least two of them are good. And the extra pillows and things like that. So I'm going to keep that. And, uh, you know, if I need it, it's available. If I don't need it, I can always take it apart. But that, to me, is, is indicative of excellent, excellent customer service. And it just, I mean, in this day and age with these disposable pieces and parts, um... That's really nice. I mean, it was, it was customer service on part with the customer service I get from Zelos, quite frankly. And uh, you all know that I consider Zelos to be, uh, in my opinion, the, the uh, epitome, the definition of customer service. Well, I'll, uh, I'll put J-Queen up there too now. Uh, they did right by me. They've done right by my father. And... Uh, I believe in the product, and more importantly, I believe in the people behind the product. So, I, And they're not paying me. I'm not getting a sponsorship from this. They don't even really probably know I'm making this video. Um, if they find out, uh, I want to say thank you to, uh, to Jay Queen and specifically to Vivian uh, for uh, working with me and standing behind your product. Anyway, I believe in, I believe in winders. They, they do a good job for me. I've, I frankly have a lot of watches, and if I had to wind them all all the time, I'd probably make myself crazy. So I am a big believer in owning winders and using winders properly, doing your research, finding out what your watches want. Are they unidirectional? Or are they bidirectional? Do the, do the manufacturers recommend not to use winders at all or, or what have you? Do your research. Do your own homework. Uh, don't rely on me. Don't rely on anyone. Do your own homework for your own information. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I've rambled on enough about this. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed a little insight into um, into these devices. And you know, quite frankly, a high recommendation for me on where what you should buy and um, yeah, get wh where and what to buy. Buy it from Amazon. Buy it inexpensively and. J Queens offer these in different uh, sizes and different uh, numbers of watches that, that uh, wine. I think they go from two to eight at least. But uh, I'm happy. So if you like the video, thumbs up, please. If um, you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, down there on the bottom, down there. I read them all, I respond to them all, I delete the nasty stuff, and I block the uh, poster. I don't have time for that. And if you're not already a subscriber, uh, please go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. Click the bell icon next to it so when I post new content, you'll be alerted. I'm trying to grow the channel. Um, you know, trying to get to 1,000. I think 1,000 is a good goal. I'm getting close. I'd appreciate it if you'd help me out. Anyway, have a good rest of the day, and I'll see you in my next video.